Not anymore, please. I really miss my boosters. <laughs> This is concerning. I didn't realize the infestation was so prevalent in this area of the facility. What exactly happened here? There was a biomass outbreak. I'll bet it's your attention to detail that sets you apart from all the other AIs. There's not much more I can tell you without violating my directives. Well, what about the crew? Are they really all gone? All 118 souls aboard the station have either perished or were evacuated. So then, what the hell are we doing here? After your unexpected arrival aboard <laughs> the Astrea, I was directed to bring you somewhere safe. This is safe? Well, the habitat was safe at the time. Now the ship is our only option. Brilliant. I'm guessing there's no way to open this door. Unfortunately, no. The infestation is too severe. You will need to find another way around. I have to be careful on those sticks, like... The biomass was one thing, but... It's blinking, so it's gonna turn off eventually. This is familiar. This door is completely disconnected from the power grid. It will need an external power source. Like a battery. Precisely. Door powered up. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Oh my god. How much farther, you know? Nearly there. The security room is just on the other side of this depot. I assume we'll find more tick swarms? Technically, the correct term for a group of ticks is a murder. What the? I suppose. I always found the term a little too on the nose. Okay, well, I don't know about the detection on this one tick. So maybe you just go by the wall. Oh, come on. <laughs> Touch this. Oh, I can throw it. Okay. Uh, hmm. I can do, like, with every here. <laughs> now I know that works. Okay. I need a battery, which is there. <laughs> They're having fun there, aren't they? How do I do this? Hmm, I can move this as well, the rail. <laughs> 
There's too many for them, for my liking. <laughs> I'm afraid if I push too fast, they just immediately jump on me. So I have to catch them when they are changing. Definitely handle, Jack. Getting to be quite the tick expert, are we? I imagine navigating a gauntlet of tick-infested corridors would make anyone an expert. Actually, it would probably just kill them. Either way, well done. <laughs> Juno, you said earlier that you were directed to free us here. That's correct. Well, directed by who? I get it. You can't answer that. <laughs> Let's just focus on getting you to safety. I suspect much will be made clear once we have you secure aboard the ship. Passing by... Wait, with a battery. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> not taking any chances. That was a nice tutorial. <laughs> Jack, you made it. Is everything all right? Well, I still have a mindless tentacle monster trying with all its might to eat my face. But he hasn't actually managed to do it yet, so all in all I'd say things are going pretty well. Listen, why don't I keep this little bugger occupied while you deal with the one on the door? Juno, you can help him out there, right? I believe so. Disposal unit powered on. Now how do I eject the ticks? The tick is siphoning power from the disposal unit. You'll have to use the manual ejection switch. He has to go on the other side. Why well, he's going around? <laughs> hey. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> Take that, sir. Way to go, Jack. Just one more to go. Security shadow, huh? The creature does seem to be quite fond of the captain. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. Liv, can you move? Liv, come over to the door. Whatever you need. Okay. Go in. Should I throw you? <laughs> Thank you. That's ah. it. We're clear. Confirmed. Room secure. Nicely done. Now, Juno, if you would, please. Appreciate it. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess. Better, now that we're finally clear of the biomass. Amen to that. Um, Captain Rhodes. What is it? More biomass. <coughs> oh, Juno, you're kidding me right now with this. Not that much, come on. I mean, <laughs> she doesn't have a suit no, on, so... you're not kidding. Not to worry, Captain. I already have a solution. While sorting through the station's database, I managed to locate a set of design specs for a protective EVA suit. An EVA suit? With an air supply? A limited air supply. We'll still want to get you to a stable environment as soon as possible. More importantly, the suit will provide limited protection against the biomass. I've already queued up the schematic. All you have to do is enter the fabricator, and we can begin. 
Uh, can't we just print the suit and I'll put it on out here? The fabricator will perfectly form the suit to fit your body. It only takes a moment. <laughs> okay. Nice. Well, what do you think? Bit of a step up, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah. <laughs> I like it. A marked improvement over your old EVA suit. My old EVA suit was being held together by duct tape. <gasps> I certainly hope this was an improvement. Come on, let's go. Give me a moment to open the door. The ship is just up ahead. Oh, I almost forgot how nauseating this stuff looks up close. No cause for alarm. Your suit's filtration system is designed specifically to handle airborne contaminants. You'll remain safe as long as direct contact is avoided. I was more worried about my eyes, actually. What is this? Is the ship not connected to the station? Given the risk of contamination, the ship remains severed from the facility. Only under the most extreme circumstances... Uh, I'd say this qualifies. <laughs> of course, Captain. Stand by while I extend the gangway. Once inside, I suggest making your way to the bridge. From there... Yeah, I'm familiar. From the cockpit, I can use the number two engineering panel to cycle the reactor and bring the ship online. That's correct. Juno, are you not coming with us? All the power disruptions have rendered me unable to connect to the ship's mainframe. Once the power levels normalize, I should be able to join you on board. Good luck. Entering the space again. Feels much bigger than we had in the prequel. 